Hi, I'm going to talk about Indiba Active in a spray. So there are three grades to a sprain. Grade one would be where you overstretch the ligament of the joint. There's an onset of pain. You get very mild edema and swelling, but you can walk. So if this was an ankle, you'd still be able to walk on it. It would probably niggle for a couple of days and you wouldn't notice much different. There'd be no bruising, nothing like that. It would just be a very small, um, minor um, overstretching of the ligament in that joint. We then go on to a grade two. This is where you get a partial rupture of the ligaments. So you get more, a lot more pain than you would if you had done a grade one. Um, more edema on the affected side and you also do get bruising. And there's partial limitation of function and movement. So there will be some reduced um, activity there. So again, if we talk about the ankle, you would feel quite a lot of discomfort when, especially when you're doing inversion, eversion. So that's the turning outside and inside of the foot. And then you have a grade three, which is a complete rupture of that ligament. It has completely snapped. So when the therapist is testing the joint, you really feel that there's a lot of laxity there. So there's, there's no um, end feel to it. It feels like it can just keep going. There's severe bruising, which can last for weeks. Um, a lot of edema, so a lot of swelling very, very suddenly after doing um, the injury, often with a grade three you can um, sometimes get a, a pull, a fracture on the bone as well, where it's pulled the bone away. So sometimes those, those two, um, you have to determine which it is. So is it pulled the bone off or has it actually torn the ligament? And again, you get a lot of uh, functional decrease in movement. Sometimes you don't get as much pain with a grade three because there's a complete rupture of the, ten uh, the ligament. So you, although you feel pain because of the inflammation and the swelling, you might not have as much pain as when the fibers are still intact. But that's all down to your therapist to determine. So this is the ankle joint looking um, this side on, on the outside of the ankle joint. So you can see um, the ligaments are here. So from the ankle joint down into the foot, around the front, uh, sorry, around the front and around the back of the ankle joint. So how do we treat with Indiba Active in an ankle sprain? Well, the first phase, so that inflammatory acute phase, we look to use biostimulation. So we're using our radio frequency in Deba device at 448 kilohertz to have an effect on the actual cells that are involved in the repair process of that ligament. We are also trying to achieve some drainage of the inflammatory mediators that are there. So our first phase objectives within Deba Active are to reduce pain, reduce inflammation, and um, relax any of the muscle contracture that's going on around in, in that area. Second phase is as we move into subacute phase, so this is a couple of days after the um, injury, we want to start introducing a very low heat to the area. So this would be low vascularization. That's what that refers to is just starting to increase the power of the device a little bit. So we're getting a low heat. This increases the venous, venous drainage. We increase microcirculation in the area and we also want to increase oxygenation. So taking nutrients and oxygen to that area so that the healing process can accelerate. So our main objectives in that second phase is to improve the ligamentous tissue. So that is that cell proliferation that we want rather than scarring that we get with that 448 kilohertz within Deba. And we also want to increase our function of the ankle joint. Our third phase, this is our final phase. We can start to really increase the heat, so that high vascularization now, which um, has a drastic Im impact on increasing oxygenation. We increase the blood flow even more. So we're getting um, a thermal effect that we can feel which also we can start to do some mobilizations as we've got all that collagen formation and the new cells of ligament that we've been trying to proliferate using that biostimulation of the um, Indiba device. 
And again, we're looking at improvement of the function of the ankle joint so we can start weight bearing, walking, strengthening, all of those things that we need to do. If you want any more information on how Indeba can help you, you would um, be able to access us at indebaactive.com forward slash en.